Hello print princesses and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Yeah, I'm sitting on my hands here because I just kind of want to get all animated because today we have something I love to do every year. This is the brand new NARS Holiday 2023 collection. I can't wait to get into it. Hey, don't forget guys, you can come over and visit me on Instagram, threads and on TikTok too. I'd love to see you over there, but we got a lot to do here as well. All right, let's talk about this NARS holiday collection. Today I picked up the NARS Endless Nights eyeshadow palette. We're going to talk about that, swatch it and do some comparisons. And we're also going to talk about the All That Glitters light reflecting cheek palette also with comparisons, different swatches and different lights and all of that stuff. I hope to answer all of your questions. And of course, we're going to, of course, demo both of them. I cannot wait. Now linked below, I have, of course, these palettes for you to purchase if you want to. It helps the channel a little bit. I'm always grateful for that. Um, it doesn't cost you any more, of course. But um, I also have all the other NARS stuff for the holidays. They released a bunch of bundles, some really nice lip ones. Um, some minis of their cheek. Oh, that, that cool liquid cheek that they just did very recently. I've reviewed it. Beautiful. So there's some minis there and all sorts of other goodies. I've linked that below. And while you're down there sniffing around in the description bar, check out the link to become a private member here at Not Fit for Print Beauty on YouTube. It's $4.99 a month. We have weekly gossipy lives and all sorts of behind the scene information. And that link is down below as well while you're in the description bar. All right, let's get started. We have a lot to do. Um, first of all, let's look at the casing. Something about NARS, I, I just love Francois NARS. Francois NARS always, I just think he is so sophisticated and chic and I get really excited when it's time to review anything that he has produced for his makeup line. He's so involved from the photography and the marketing to the packaging and I still get excited about it. You know, somebody once on, it wasn't a NARS video, but in another video said, well, you're fangirling over that. How can you give an accurate review? And it was so against my philosophy on this stuff, you guys. The day that you are in my industry in fashion and beauty, the day that you are jaded, negative, rude, nasty, hesitant, is the day that you should not be reviewing these things. So call it fangirling. I'm telling you, Francois Nars, I think, is a genius. And I'm always very excited to see what he has done for Nars Cosmetics, this time being no exception. Look at the case here. Let's see if this picks it up. We always love to look at the artwork here. And we have it the same on both palettes. It's a really reflective, it's almost like, on editing, if it doesn't show, I'll do a close-up, unless it shows here. I can't tell. It's almost like we have Nars in gold, and it looks like a bunch of fallen glitter on this ivory background, both palettes, just beautiful. Let's take a look at them. First, we have the Endless Nights eyeshadow palette. This is $49, and it has all sorts of, you know, really pretty shimmers and some very useful creamy mattes. Just, this is absolutely lovely. You know, there is also a, um, there's a setting, a shimmering setting powder that I kept trying to put into my cart that was supposed to be here for review. After about five times, I couldn't get it into my cart and I just gave up. I was like, okay, the universe is trying to tell me not to buy the finishing powder. There is a really cool looking finishing powder with this collection. So you guys can tell me if you want to see it or picked it up. Okay, we're going to compare that in a minute. So just give me a moment here. And then we're going to look also today at, oh, I just love the face palettes. This is the All That Glitters Light Reflecting Cheek Palette. This one is $60. That's right. It's about $11 more. It is, in fact, $11 more than the eyeshadow palette. And that is beautiful. Also, this is made in Italy and is a really nice, sometimes NARS works with the really baked products and people feel they can't get it up on the brush. You won't have any trouble with this formula. It's a truly beautiful, easy to use formula. Wait until you see the swatches. Okay, um, in terms of swatches, all of this is very creamy, very uh, easy to see. Sometimes we, we're gonna go outside to look at the swatches, but uh, I, you're not gonna have trouble seeing them in the studio lighting either. Uh, I, look, I'm gonna be the first to admit it. The jaded people say, Oh, great. Another NARS palette, just like the other NARS palette. Okay, I'm not going to disagree with you. 
they're similar. I mean, how much can you invent color? You know, how much can you go, I'm just going to do all lime green. And then everyone goes, ooh, you know. I So, yeah, here's what I did. I went through my NARS collection and I tried to pull out the obvious similarities. I left things that were, you know, like the NARS Climax palette. It doesn't look like this, so I didn't compare it. However, if there is something you're not seeing that you need to see, just ask me here or over on Instagram. I'm happy to compare those for you. Super happy to do it. Okay, you guys are really happy. So let's look at some, let's just look at this new collection that I picked up and then we'll do some comparisons with other NARS quickly, okay? First of all, what I want you to see is we have the eye palette on the left part of my arm as it appears in the pan, and then the uh, face palette towards my wrist here in studio lighting, also as that appears in the pan. So that is laid out same way you're gonna see it in the pan. So take a look there. And that is in studio lighting, um, and you're not having any trouble seeing it. These shades are glorious. So easy to work with, such beautiful color payoff, so blendable. You know I'm a fan of ours, I admit it. All right, and then let's step outside with the same swatches on my arm into the warm. California sunshine. Take a look there. I mean, just lovely. Look at that. Look at the depth, especially when you're in the natural lighting. Isn't that gorgeous? Really pretty. Okay. So the eye shades, yeah, I found a lot of similarities. I'm not going to lie to you. Let me show you uh, what I found as I get this open here closed on me. So here is our brand new Endless Nights. I thought it also looked a little bit similar to uh, Uninhibited Nine Pan and to the uh, Orgasm Rising palette. So here is our new one. Here is Uninhibited. And then here, I wish I had another arm that could come out from over here. Here is, might be a little strange. Here is the um, Orgasm Rising palette that I just stuck my nail into. I mean, I saw some similarities there. So what I did here, um, what I have done here in this comparison is here is our brand new Endless Nights eyeshadow palette and Uninhibited is underneath it and Orgasm Rising is beneath it. So there are three rows there. If that's not slow enough for you, I can redo that on Instagram. If you need me to throw in another eyeshadow palette, I can do that for you. I don't get into the weeds too much. I have kind of limited patience for it, I admit. I really do, and others do as well. But honestly, I don't mind for you if you're like, I need a specific gold shade compared to a specific gold shade in Pat McGrath. Go ahead and ask. There's no request that is, you know, this is for you to save your own money. So I'm happy to do it for you, even if I don't do it here in our general overview. Okay. Now let's take a look at the face palette and do some comparisons. I love NARS face palettes, and the reason I love them is because, to me, this is an entire face. I would put this on the eyes as well. Um, I don't in the demo here, but to be totally honest with you, for daily use, this would be all I need. It has everything. Bronzer for my skin tone. Uh, bronzer, eyes, cheeks, highlight. It's beautiful. All right, so I compared it to a few things. So first I want to show you it compared to High Profile. So here's our brand new one. Here's High Profile. Different formulations, but similar shades. Here is, um, do you remember Foreplay? Came in this pink packaging. Kind of similar. Look, I'm not going to lie. They're similar. Here's here's our new one. Oh, that just that fell out. Here's the Foreplay. Pretend that didn't fall out. Pretend that didn't fall out. Somebody edit that out. <laughs> I won't. Oh. Okay, and then here is, we need a little Gorilla Glue. Okay, so here is this compared to um, Orgasm on the Beach. Notice I fly by these words that embarrass me when I have to use them. I put that in backwards. There we go. Ugh, I need some Gorilla Glue. Okay, here it is, holding it carefully this time. And here is Orgasm on the Beach. They're kind of similar. Kind of similar, right? All right, let me tell you what this uh, swatches you're going to see are. So you will see on the top row um, the All That Glitters Light Reflection Cheek Palette on the top row, and then uh, underneath it, High Profile on the left and Foreplay on the right, and underneath that, uh, Orgasm on the Beach. So I'll let you take a look at that. And certainly, I mean, sometimes in my studio swatches, the light just washes them out. But these are really kind of powerful and beautiful. They really are. Honestly, um, I think it's a stunning collection. Whether you're collecting them, as I admit I do, 
or whether you haven't or you have partial amounts and other. I, I think this is absolutely stunning. You're getting a preview here. And we're going to go to the demo right now. But first, I do have to ask of you, if you have not subscribed, please make sure that you do. Even if my videos are recommended to you, I mean, I'm happy to have you here, but it really does help me if you could just click the subscribe button or make sure you're still subscribed. Let's go to the demo right now. So I'm pretty excited to try this out. I do have uh, my mascara on already. So I just want to dive into the face palette first, if you'll indulge me, um, because that's always my favorite part. I love face palettes. I really, really do. Okay, so um, let me see. I could do a bunch of looks here, but I swatched them. They're beautiful. And if you know, if you know Anar's palette, you know Anar's palette. Let's start. I think I'm going to try to use this because it's so warm and deep. I'm going to try to use this as a, not getting a little bit of it off, but I'm going to try to warm up the edges and around my face with it. And let's just see. It's only makeup. If I ruin it, we'll take it off. No, 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 that's definitely working. Let me just show you kind of here on this side of my face. What I'm doing is I'm going in and then kind of going on the edge of the palette so that I'm knocking a little bit of it off as well. This is a Sonia G brush. What is this, a Niji Pro? Yes, it is. Okay. Look at the difference. How nice is that? It depends on your skin tone, of course. I understand that. But I can only do uh, for me. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Yes, I am very pleased with this and I'm knocking less of it off as I trust the product more, not to look ridiculous. And I think that really works. Um, and depending on your skin tone, you could bronze with this, you could just kind of shape the face or contour a little bit with it. And you can even, as I always say, use this on the eyes. Okay, but what I have done is just warmed up the face with it and I'm very pleased with that. I kind of want to go in here with this golden shade right here and just kind of, um, do a little bit of highlighting with it since this is a face palette. Again, I'm going to be a broken record, you guys. Um, I really think you could use this beautifully on the eyes. Or if you're using a matte eyeshadow palette, we've had a few of those released lately. Let me just put this, pop this idea into your head. If you're using a matte eyeshadow palette this, and you're doing your face with this, you could just pop a little bit of this over or in the inner corner of the eye. Any of these kind of, you know, shades like this and then you can have a really nice highlighted look that really adds to, and you know, it doesn't take anything away uh, from the matte palette. Now I did overdo this, um, not ridiculously so, but I did overdo it just so you could see it well, um, and it looks pretty, but keep in mind it is a bit overdone. Taking this Wayne Goss brush number 11, I think I have a real pink uh, NARS lipstick on. Let's try this pink shade. It popped out on me earlier. So I'm kind of holding the palette um, very carefully. And that's applying beautifully with a little bit of um, a reflective quality, which is fine. I don't know how NARS does this. It's reflective, but it's not really making my pores ridiculously um, visible. It's just a really, it's really nice powder. So we've used three shades here, and I've definitely, definitely overdone that. Um, let me just take the same brush and go into this more, uh, a little bit more matte shade here and just kind of put that there on the apples of the cheeks, just kind of making a concoction. There's another way to do this, and that is the way, I think you have to be from the United States, but we would go to 7-Eleven and they would have a the soda fountain out and we would press every button. We would put ice in the cup and press every button and just go down the line and have a concoction of all the different soda flavors. So another way to really do this is just to kind of go into it. There's nothing wrong with that. And then you get kind of a NARS custom look. That is my favorite thing to do. And again, don't forget this on the eyes, but I am a broken record. Speaking of eyes, let's give it a try with the Endless Nights eyeshadow palette. Very excited to try this. Got some brush hairs coming off on me here. Okay, let's go back to Sonia G and see how we're gonna do this here. <sighs> you know what I wanna do? I'm gonna start um, just putting this all over the eye. now. Because I have hooded eyes, how many times have you guys heard me say this? Honestly, um, I'm not supposed to really kind of put this sort of a shimmer shade all over the entire eye. But what I'm going to do is keeping the same brush, I'm going to go into this really pretty mauve shade that is a, a matte shade. And then I'll just put that uh, into the entire crease over 
the other shade. And what that will do is that will kind of help this to, uh, you know, recede the little the line in my eye that really isn't there. Now I am very heavily blushed and heavily highlighted, um, but I do want you guys to be able to see it really well. This is so pretty. Let's switch brushes. I'm, I'm really enjoying this matte mauve shade of all things, especially as it relates to the sparkle. So I'm going to put it right underneath the eye. I don't know. You know, you guys, we're not done with the eye yet, but what is it about NARS? And if you agree with me, I would love to hear your thoughts below. What is it about NARS that feels so put together and so pretty? I just always feel really fashionable in NARS. I feel the same way about Surratt. Surratt and NARS make me feel like I'm kind of just like ready to go to a New York Fashion Week show. I don't know why. Okay, going into a, one more mat we'll use just for this look here, just on the outside of the eye. Okay, all right. Now let's see. Hmm. I think I'm going to switch brushes here and I'm going to take this shade right here and put this right into the center. I think I would be done if I weren't here on camera, but I'm just trying out a few more shades right into the center and just drag it a little bit onto the eye. Zero bits of fallout for my uh, fallout folks. No fallout. And then let's just do it up. One last shade right here into the very, very middle using a brush. Normally I would use my fingers, but using a brush and we got no fallout and I'm really happy with this. Oh, just so pretty. And talk about ready for a holiday party without looking overdone. I mean, I did overdo the shades because I really wanted you guys to be able to see them, but I don't, I still don't really look overly made up. I don't look like I tried too hard. It's just very chic. There's a great word for it. It's very chic, and I am a huge fan of it. Now, if I skipped out the comparison that you need to help you make a more informed decision when you buy, just let me know down below, and I'm happy to put that for you over on Instagram. Just let me know um, what your name is over there so I can tag you or you know, DM me on Instagram or whatever works for you. But I, yeah, I'm really, really pleased. What a nice look. So typical of NARS and it's so pleasing to me. What about you guys? What do you think? Um, are you going to get this or any of this? And what do you have of NARS and what comparisons do you need? Here's the stuff that makes us a community. So make sure that you weigh in on that down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember to share and like and don't forget to subscribe and I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.